we talk about genetics, you talk about training uh, uh, to, to, you know, to announcing potential, but which do you think are the, um, the main variables, the main, um, the, 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 the most important things, abilities or skills you 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 think are 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 the you know the one that uh determining the performance the elite performance of, of an athlete yeah yeah i think the athletes that have tremendous um uh, ground reaction force uh they're able to use energy really efficiently in other words when they put their foot into the ground whether it's an elite soccer player, uh, football player, you know, elite basketball, tennis, you know, track, whatever. When they place their foot into the ground and they're extremely elastic and they don't waste time and they don't over yield and, and get mushy into the ground, those qualities, that's when we see fantastic plays being made, okay? That's when we see guys who and gals who make just incredibly speed quick patterns. So I think the ability to quickly absorb and release force, I think that's where we see the greatest potential. That's a quality. Now, to get there, what do we have to do? We got to have adequate strength of the muscle so the tendon can do its job. Because if we have a really weak muscle, the tendon is, is probably not going to get utilized as well as it could because it's, it's going to release that energy as heat versus releasing that energy as an elastic response. So those are the things that I like to see in my athletes.